Grant, um, another 1-1 one, one draw, how do you view it? Um, in terms of the performance, I thought it was really good. Uh, in open play, I thought we were excellent. The way we moved the ball, the way we broke quickly against them. The way we were calm and created loads of opportunities. Uh, on another day, we could have had four or five. Um, wasn't to be. Nice to see Big Tom score. Really pleased for him. Um, like it's, you know, it was, a, it was a tough game today, I said this during the week. Um, but we had opportunities to, to, to win the game. Talking about Tom specifically, it's always great to see your, your striker come back in and score because not only does it give him confidence, it gives him competition for who's going to play that number nine role. It does, I mean, I thought his performance was good, really good. He got a hold of the ball for us and brought others into play um, and it was a good header. You know, it was a good ball from Malik, great header from Tom. Um, he nearly scored after that as well when he hit the post in the, in the first half, just a little snapshot. Um, so his all-round game was good. He just tired a little bit towards the end. This is his first game for a while. Um, but you look, we, we, we take the point, we move on. You know, we've got another good game next week against a, a footballing team in Crewe. So it's, uh, we'll look forward to that. And it's like you've said many times, it's a completely sort of different scenario, isn't it, in terms of tactics? Because the ball was in the clouds a lot today and against Crewe, it'll be on the deck. Well, that's the way Gillian and play and they make it difficult for you. And they throw long balls into your box and you have to defend. I thought we did it. Majority of the game we did it manfully. You know, we, we defended every single ball that came in. Yes, a couple of times where they got ricochets, hit the post and things like that, but we had to defend. You know, we had to put our bodies in the line and um, you know, that's the way they've recruited. That's the style of play they play and we had to we had to be manfully and, and stand up against it. But once once we're in general play, uh, I thought we were good. You know, I thought we created really, really good opportunities in the game. And obviously, you say there about throwing bodies in the way, there was lots of um, heavy collisions, etc. And Alfie Jones, right at the end, was left on the ground. How is he? Well, we don't know yet. Um, we'll see how he is in a minute. Um, so I, I don't know whether we have to follow any, any con concussion protocols, etc. they got. So we're hoping if we do have to follow that, he'll be OK for next week. Um, but we'll, we'll assess him when we go back in. And uh, can I ask if, um, regarding respects, obviously Alfie came in for him today. Yeah, Reese felt his, his calf in training yesterday. It was, it was a bit of a blow for us, really. Just after training, felt his calf. Um, so it's a bit of a, you know, we don't want to be losing Alfie now as well, you know, because we've lost Reese for, for a couple of weeks. So we're just hoping Alfie's fine. But yeah, Reese won't be too long, but it's just a bit of a blow. And if Alfie does end up being out, that will give the likes of Sean McLaughlin, for example, who's been chomping at the bit all season, to come in and stamp down his mark. Well, it does, but Sean's only trained a day and a half, you know, so it's. Um, that's the reason probably why we didn't think about starting Sean today. He hasn't trained much. He's only been out for three weeks. Again, he's had a little calf problem. So, um, you know, we're, we're, just, we're just, you know, we're, just, we're hoping and praying Alfie's OK for, for next week, um, considering we've lost Reese uh, as well. Tom, um, it's a draw today. How do you assess it? Uh, it was a tough game, to be honest. It was, it was a game with a lot of crosses, a lot of second balls, a very physical game. Um, you know, they're, they're a tough side to beat, to be honest with you. They flooded the, um, the box with crosses and uh, I felt like we defended really well, you know, apart from the, the one that we did concede. And the one that we did concede obviously was a huge disappointment, but at the other end, you coming back in today, you got on the end of a high hanging cross into the back of the net. Yeah, uh, you know, I think that, that is my bread and butter, to be honest with you, you know, crosses in the box. Um, I could have had you know, one, one or two more, I think I hit the post and then keep made a good save. So it's just good that I'm getting them chances, it's good to be back on the team again and uh, you know, hopefully we can finish strong for the last few games for the running and get promoted. Did it feel strange though getting that goal against your former club because obviously professionalism takes over especially when it, you're out on the pitch? As you just said professionalism takes over, you know, I'm, here, I'm here to play for Hull City and score goals and you know, it's, I'm starting games now and and I know if I'm starting games in this league, I, I knew if I could score 20 in this league if I start every game. I know for a fact I can. Um, so it's just a matter of, you know, the, the team has been doing really well recently and you put your, your own performances aside just to get the team promoted. It's, it's not about me playing every week, it's about getting Hull City back in the championship and then going again the next year. So, From your point of view, how... Have you made any sort of idea of what sort of points region is going to be required to get promoted or is it a case of just taking one game at a time? I think it's just one game at a time. I think if you start giving yourself you know, points to get from each game, you put too much pressure on yourself, you've just got to take one game at a time, try and win every single game on that day and not, too th not think too far ahead. Sorry. And 
the next game is against Crew, who are a, a reversal really of tactics compared to Gillingham because I said to Grant earlier the ball was in the clouds but it'll be on the deck against Crew. Well yeah not notoriously a, a football side. I, I was there myself when I was younger so uh, I know what they're about um, again another tough game this is, I think they're all tough games in this division uh, we've got a really important weekend uh, you know for some reason the games are crammed into a few days which I think is ridiculous. Um, <laughs> so you're not missing Tuesdays then? Well yeah exactly exactly but um, you know we'll We'll take each game as it comes and, and just try and win.